in Silverado 2500 HD we're going to be doing the remove pan the, the panels the door panels so we're going to be removing it I'm going to start with the front one so here the front one you're going to need something small to come here close it please you gotta take, go under here, there's a little hole so you can pop this out. Okay, and then there's another one inside here, you do the same. Stick this in the hole and lift there. So now, There's another screw here behind this along the, so you gotta pop this out. It might not come out with the clips, but you can always put it back. So you lift from the bottom up. And then you see how the clips, three of them got stuck in there. One came out. You can just pop them out and clip it back in here and make it work. Now there's gonna be one screw all the way in here. And then there's two up here and one here and we got two more at the bottom okay so now let's see if I can take the screw out better yes now we gotta kind of fight with it to pop it out and then lift. So we can start here. Be careful not to pull too hard and break this little part right here. Pop it out. Okay. Now, it's better to lower this lock. Up, once, once you get up here, we gotta pull out. On the back, there should be a clip right here. A little bit hard to do, but right? mm -hmm. so let's start lifting it. Lift and pull. There. top you pull it over you don't worry about this this thing is, is not gonna break Get the connection out. Hold on, let me. There you go. There you go. So to get this connection out, this one you press, press on it. If you want to take the whole thing off, you press on it, you pull, and then you slide out. And then this one. She's the power. This one has a little little tab you have to put you have to push in. Pull this forward and there you lift and it comes right out. Back one is a little bit different.
The back one is only going to have one screw at the bottom. It's going to have one screw here. And it's going to have two screw here. So on this one, you don't have to take this off. Take one here. Now same thing, we start from the inside edge, like tight, pull, then keep pulling, uh, no this one we're going to lift it, going to lift this one. So the front one, you have to pull it to you, the top. This one's different. This one you have to lift it. And then same thing for the connection here. You press, pull, twist, and then there. Connection for the plug, the switch, it's hiding. I don't need to take this one all the way down, but the plug is right there. I'll just leave it hanging. So, that's it. Easy to do it. Thank you. Okay. Let me just explain a little bit about the back one. You can, you can get it out both ways. By lifting it the way it came out, or by pulling it toward you, and then so the clips can stay there in the rubber. If you lift it, you you basically you just take out the whole thing. So you can do it either way, lifting it or pulling it to you. When you lift it, the whole thing will come out, the seal with the clips and everything. But then in order to put it back, you have to put it the you have to put the clip first, then the rubber seal, and then you clip your panel in. You cannot have the the seal attached to the door and trying to put it on. It's not gonna happen. Okay, thank you. Let me just explain a little bit about the back one. You can, you can get it out both ways. By lifting it the way it came out, or by pulling it toward you, and then, so the clips can stay there in the rubber. If you lift it, you, you basically you just take out the whole thing. So you can do it either way, lifting it, or pulling it to you. When you lift it, the whole thing will come out, the seal with the clips and everything. But then in order to put it back, you have to put it the you have to put the clip first, then the rubber seal, and then you clip your panel in. You cannot have the the seal attached to the door and trying to put it on. It's not gonna happen. Okay? Thank you.